Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Elite Defining Moment Series, the King of Strong Style, we've got Shinsuke Nakamura. You have no idea how excited I was to get my hands on this figure. Nakamura, one of my favorite wrestlers, a super talented wrestler, to be honest with you personally, I think he's being... Uh, just completely and utterly wasted in NXT. He needs to be on the main roster. The biggest thing holding him back, I guess, is that he's Japanese and he doesn't speak English. But I think in today's day and age, people have moved to the stage where they are multicultural and accepting of people from other countries. So I don't see why you couldn't introduce him to the main roster and give him a mega push because he is a mega star. I was in Japan to watch him face AJ Styles at the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom. The best match I've ever seen to date. The best match. I remember watching that. I knew nothing about Nakamura going in there. And if you've seen the review I did uh, when I was uh, in Japan, in Tokyo, you can actually see the um, Okada and Tanahashi wrestling bears I purchased. And they had a Nakamura bear there. And I'm kicking myself so much that I didn't purchase the Nakamura bear. It's just unfortunate that at the time, I knew Okada, I knew Tanahashi because they were the two sort of legends there. Uh, well, current champion and then Tanahashi being a legend. With Nakamura, to me, I'd never heard of him before uh, until the Wrestle Kingdom stage. And AJ Styles was the guy I was going for because I know him through watching TNA. That match was just incredible. Uh, an epic, amazing match. Do yourself a favor if you want to watch just quality wrestling. I know people are making a big deal about Kenny Omega's match against Okada this year. But watch the AJ Styles-Nakamura match. That is a work of art. And just I remember watching that and... and being like, what the hell is this? These two need to go to WWE. Fortunately, they both did at the same time. AJ made his great Royal Rumble debut. Nakamura, obviously NXT champion, etc. So to get my hands on a Mattel figure makes me very happy. He comes in the standard Defining Moments packaging. We get a nice shot of Nakamura on the sides there. I have seen him wrestle a couple of times at NXT Melbourne, where he took on Samoa Joe in a steel cage match. That was a fantastic match. And then uh, again at uh, the Royal Rumble, the NXT San Antonio TakeOver Special. He had a great match against uh, Bobby Roode, who was uh, victorious and also very glorious in taking the NXT title. On April 1st, 2016, Nakamura was introduced to the WWE Universe when he made his debut at NXT TakeOver Dallas. There was no April Fool's Day prank involved as this newcomer defeated former NXT champion Sami Zayn in a classic encounter. While it's still early in Nakamura's career, he has already proven his talent and worth with an impressive track record that will no doubt continue to build him a massive fan base. And he does have a massive fan base. His merchandise sells like crazy. I love on the back they have, uh, I guess, like the Ryan Stud jacket theme going. So with that, let's get Nakamura opened up. And here we have Nakamura opened up and out of packaging, and Mattel have started the year in fine form. 2016, I think, was one of the best years ever for wrestling figures. They gave us so many cool sets and cool uh, battle packs. Just the detailing on Mattel really improved. They cut costs, and they made a few slight changes with uh, joints and things like that for production purposes. But they ended up giving us, I think, better quality figures which is a real credit to them. The face scan on this definitely looks like Nakamura. I'll bring it forward so you guys can see. I love the hair. I love that it's uh, shaved here and long on the side. Very accurate, nice detailing. Even the detailing on the jacket looks fantastic. His entrance too is something just very special. I, uh, I mean, I was a big fan of him, but for argument's sake, take his match against Samoa Joe. Uh, I really wanted Joe to win because I like Samoa Joe. Even his match with uh, with Rude, I was going for Rude, but there's something about like as soon as his entrance music hit, I was kind of like I went from being Big Joe or, or Big Rude fan to being, you know, if this guy wins, I really don't care. Uh, like I'll be happy if he wins as well kind of attitude. Uh, it, it's just something about that song, the way he comes out, his entrance is very captivating, very compelling. And uh, I think that's a big part of why people like him as well. In terms of detailing, I mean, it is very accurate. He doesn't have a lot going on on his tights or anything like that. It is more the pageantry of his entrance attire, which Mattel gave us finally a really good soft rubber uh, jacket that does come off quite easily and clip on. Look at that. I jinxed it fantastically and clip on really well. 
Uh, also, articulation, ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, swivel in the wrist. He's got the ab crunch, swivel waist, swivel in the legs, swivel in the thigh, double bend at the knee, and ball jointed ankle. So a ton of elite articulation for a figure that fans have wanted for a long time. And a quick look at Nakamura with his uh, entrance attire off. Again, a really nice looking figure. Height-wise, he's actually a lot bigger than I thought he would be. I'll bring in some other figures so you can see. He does come with this other red shirt, which personally I really dislike. I'm not a fan of this uh, attire whatsoever. Um, but he does come with it. He did wear it, uh, etc. So uh, it's nice that Mattel gave us that accessory. You can see, obviously, I'm not as finessed in putting it on as what I probably could be. Uh, but there you go. There's his alternate attire. I think it's a little bit silly, to be honest. I prefer the black one. I probably won't display him with this one. But it's nice that Mattel did give us that as an accessory. Just for the size comparison, he's actually a lot bigger than I thought he would be. He's taller than Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. Now, in real life, I guess I haven't really noticed how tall he is because he's predominantly wrestled people that are around his height anyway. But... That means he's a lot bigger than your stereotypical Japanese wrestler, which is fantastic because hopefully it means he's got a better chance of getting over once he makes it to the main roster. I hope the, they pull the trigger on him soon. I'm loving Samoa Joe on Raw. He's an absolute beast. I hope he has some fantastic matches. Again, do yourself a favor. If you haven't seen these two guys wrestle in Japan, uh, punch yourself in the face and then <laughs> watch it because it's one of the best matches I've ever seen uh, along with the Samoa Joe Kurt Angle trilogy they're epic as well uh, but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the WWE Mattel defining moments Shinsuke Nakamura figure if you get a chance please like or subscribe this video hopefully you'll see the pop-ups for those on your screen and I've got more reviews coming up soon